Saturday Social is powered by FIFA 22 with PlayStation. We've got a Chelsea fan. We've got a Liverpool fan on the show. Mm. Uh, it is FA Cup final between Chelsea and Liverpool. It got us thinking about the best uh, combined 11 Ridiculous. because there's a bit of a rivalry with Chelsea and Liverpool, I isn't think it? Particularly so. the era when you had you know, Gerrard versus Lampard and mm. the amount of times they played each other in cup finals. Um, and, and we were trying to pick one. It's not easy to do, let's put it that way. So uh, we're going to do a combined 11. There's a bit of criteria. Do you want to explain how this one's going to work? Yeah, this is an all time Premier League, Premier League combined 11. So we're not including some of the legends from yesteryear, you know, Kenny Dalglish, Dalglish yeah. in, in Russia. We're talking just about the Premier League era, and this is going to be tough because we've gone through some of the names available mm. and there are some ridiculous players yeah. they are going to have to miss out. <laughs> and if they uh, don't agree, which I don't think they will, no. it comes down to best arguments. So yeah. We'll decide it. You can decide. You okay. can decide. I'm not yeah. uh, Roy, let's start with your all-time Chelsea eleven. So we can have a look at it here. This is what you've picked as your greatest Chelsea eleven from the Premier League era. So it's... here it is. Uh, checking goal, Ivanovic, Carvalho, Terry, Ashley Cole. Can say Dennis Wise, Lampard, then a front Wise. three of Zola, Drogba, Hazard. Not easy to do. A couple of big names not there. Makaleli, uh, Desai, uh, Joe Cole not there. Robin, Hasselbank. Dennis so just, Wise. just explain who's the toughest to leave out. Aspen Aquetta as well. I think the toughest to leave out was probably Claude Makaleli. Yeah. I think Claude Makaleli. I was he, surprised Claude Makaleli wasn't in there. Yeah. I think he, he you know, he was, a, he was a revelation as a football player. I think he's probably the only football player that I can think of off the top of my head, at least, to actually have a position on Named the pitch. After him. Yeah, like yeah. you can play the Makaleli role. Yeah. I don't think there's any other yeah. position on the pitch that, that that relates to as directly as that. So there are some some difficult players, some players that I found very difficult to leave out. But I think that that team is exceptional. I think it's actually a flawless team. I can't really see how that team would ever <laughs> lose a game of football. I can't see how, I don't think that team okay. ever concedes a goal. I genuinely don't think that team ever concedes. That, that would play a 38-game season and not concede a goal. OK, well, that's All Chelsea's right. 11. That's uh, uh, Rory's Chelsea, Chelsea 11. 11. Let's have a look at Paul. Let's have a look at your all-time Liverpool Premier League 11. Now, this has also got some notable absentees. And one thing I want to point out, it's very recent, isn't it? I think yeah. eight of the 11 playing right now. Well, because we decided to do Premier League and so you yes. took out Liverpool's all-time got top goal scorer, <laughs> top appearance makers, etc, etc. So, no, the best Liverpool team uh, in the Premier League has been the one in the last yeah. five years. So I'm surprised Xabi Alonso's not in there. Well, there's only so many positions on the field, unfortunately, and Zabi, I... It must have been close. I think, yeah. No, you know what, honestly, I, I, I hadn't considered him in the slightest. Genuinely hadn't, hadn't considered him. I, he's, he's fantastic, but I, I think he was better. He had one really good season for Liverpool, and there'd be a few people who might be gnashing the teeth at that, because he's remembered better than maybe he actually was over the full spread of his Liverpool. That's yeah, actually yeah. very similar to Marcel Desailly. You know how you mentioned yeah. Desailly? Yeah. I feel like he's often... He's often put up there as being one of the great centre-halves of, of the Premier League era. And that's just not the case. I mean, he was captain of a Chelsea team that didn't win away in the league until March. Mm. So it isn't quite the case. So that team that I've gone for, strong. OK, strong. a couple right. of big admissions for Liverpool as well. Of course, no Fowler, Owen, yeah. Torres, and big, big players. So, yeah. so should we get into it? I mean, let's do this combined 11 then. We decided on a 4-3-3 formation, haven't we? Because you both had that in the graphic as well. Let's start with goalkeepers then, because you've got two... Oh outrageously Ooh, strong candidates Jesus. here in Alisson and Petr Cech. <laughs> Rory seems extremely confident. Rory. I think that this is, this is almost a formality. I mean, we pay, <laughs> we pay, we pay respect. It's a, it's a gentle nod of I respect agree. I agree. It is a formality. to, to Alisson. <laughs> but this is Petr Cech, isn't it? Is like, it? Pe well, Petr Cech, I think the whole back line is just going to be Chelsea, surely. Che the Chelsea back line went... went a I mean, season conceding 15 you goals. You've seen the back line that I've presented, right? I mean, I mean, look, I, I think Petr Cech at the time was probably the best goalkeeper in the Premier League, but Alisson's the best goalkeeper in the world, and I don't think Petr Cech was the best goalkeeper in the world. I don't even Chelsea. necessarily think that Alisson is the best goalkeeper in the Premier League. The, whereas that you're going to say Edison? Potentially. I think right. there's a conversation to be had. OK, cool. Whereas with Petr Cech... You, I, think... I mean, he's got better neck tattoos <laughs> and has a, a greater ability to give the ball away to, in dangerous positions, but... Um, I, Who yeah. starts with Brazil? It depends. It, it's a toss-up. It genuinely, it's sometimes. I think that this is Petr Cech. And when you think about the way that he landed in the Premier League, revolutionised goalkeeping, was so miserly at the back, gave nothing away. The partnership that he created with Terry and Carvalho in front of him, 15 goals they conceded in, in a season. Mm. You know when records are set? Mm. Loads of records are set and they're there to be broken. 15 goals being conceded in one season, I don't think that one's ever going to be broken. Is, I, the, is there any 
any part of either of you that's going to concede on this one because we need to make a decision. I'm Zero. Given I would rather die than give up Petr Cech. That's strong. Wow. Wow. I mean, um, that feels like like emotional blackmail <laughs> yeah, on, on the boys there. A the one bit. thing I will say is I think longevity-wise, we, yeah. we could argue Petr Cech, couldn't we? But by the time Alisson hangs up his gloves, then maybe we'd be saying mm. that Alisson has had a better career than Petr Cech. Was you never Petr Cech as good after the injury as well, by the way? Was he, was that, was he the same level of goalkeeper? Well, he won a European Cup. He won I mean, the Premier League. Okay. I mean, I think I think that even if his standards did drop a touch, he was still one of, if not the best goalkeeper in the world. We need to make a decision. On, um, I think you, you, you're edging towards Petr Cech there by the longevity. Obviously, Petr Just Cech, the Premier League record, 202 clean sheets, uh, three-time Golden Gloves at Chelsea, plus one at Arsenal. I, incidentally, I think Alisson's unbelievable, but I think with your argument about longevity, do we edge for Petr Cech with this but one? We won't be doing that for everyone. That's we what I was going to say. Some more it's not fair players. to Liverpool, because yeah. a lot of their team are current players. Yeah. But I think let's put Petr Cech up for, for the goalkeeper. OK, because, correct because decision. Clean sheet record. In which Ali, case... Ali, no, 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 we're doing it. Stick that in the middle. Get it in the middle. Get it in the middle. But we'll let you go first, then, for the right-back argument, which is Ivanovic versus Trent Alexander-Arnold. You call it a right-back argument. It's inarguable. Okay. Um, Trent Alexander Arnold, and look, I know we can play the whole. He's still playing, blah blah blah. Yeah. Like Trent, if he if he just stays at the level that he's at now, and plays at that level for a handful, even a handful of more years, he'll be the best right, right back the league's ever seen. He might already be that. Mm. He's only twenty three years old. Mm. You know, he's already broken the assist record for a defender. Eighteen assists in all competitions this season from right back. That is incredible. How do you top that, Rob? Uh, this is a difficult one. It's a, it's a difficult one because I agree with virtually every word Paul said there. I think Trent Alexander-Arnold is a phenomenon. I think that he is just a pearl of a player. You build a team around him, and it's so rare to say that for a player that he plays Brilliant, his position. We're in agreement. Thanks, Rory. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, it's going to come down to you because it's about styles. Do you want a marauding, creative fullback, or do you want one of the best defensive fullbacks that you've ever seen in the league? The do only you want thing a player that Ivanovic is better. There's two things that Ivanovic brings that Trent doesn't have. That's a bit more height and tastier <laughs> shoulders. And 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 that's literally all that. And defensive quality. And and yeah. defensive quality. I, I don't buy. In, by the way, I don't buy into the argument. You know when people say, "Oh, Trent Alexander Arnold can't defend." Utter nonsense. It's not true agree, at all. Yeah. But he can't defend as well as Ivanovic. No. So then it's a question to you, boys. But do you want the defender to defend? Trent, Trent is a player that I've never seen. He's almost revolutionised the role by himself. Yeah. We talk about not having McAleely, and I've I'd rarely seen. He's almost like a right side by himself, Trent. So I think Trent has to go in. Yeah, I, I'd be I'd be in agreement with let's Trent. Stick, let's stick Trent up there. Phenomenal player. Um, on the right, might yeah. be squeezing over right. a little. That'll do. Let's, so let's centre backs. Centre backs. Let's do them together. Then you need to agree on two. So just remind us of the two that you both picked. This is non-negotiable, right? Best centre half. Terry and Carvalho, you've gone with Carragher and Van Dijk. Now In this is the world this and is possibly of all time. Not my words. The words of Paolo Maldini, Virgil Van Dijk. I think that that is incredibly, ridiculously generous <laughs> to Virgil van Dijk. I think that it is... Holding them, yeah, I'm holding them as a pair. It's like we're Just a three. Get the we're a back up. three. Um, I, <laughs> I, think, I don't know why I'm doing that, but I, I quite like it. Um, I think that these two go hand in hand and you have to pick them as a partnership. 15 goals conceded. Well, hang on a second. If I knew we were picking it as a partnership, I'd have just picked Joel, I'd have picked Joel Matip or something. There, but you, you would have been? also lost, though. <laughs> These two were sensational. <laughs> These two were sensational. 15 goals conceded. Back-to-back mm. -back no Premier doubt. League titles. But do you not think that Van Dijk alongside Terry in a Mourinho system would also have conceded 15 Premier League goals? You're not going to like this, Joe. And you're really not going to like this, Paul. But can we discuss it? Virgil van Dijk, overrated. Oh, Who's with Rory, me? No. Seriously? Why not? You think Virgil van Dijk's overrated? Have you heard what Michael Ballack said about Virgil van Dijk? said it's quite easy to be a defender now because he doesn't have to play against the likes of Robin Van Persie, Wayne Rooney, Adebayor, whoever else, because we play a different play game now. the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, against... Harry Kane. The 37-year-old Christi yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo, the best, the best strikers in the league play for his team. He's got an easier, he's got an easier time of it than these boys. Every single day, what's he talking about? <laughs> and he also has to play in a different role. Could Carvalho play on the halfway line and be as expansive as Virgil van Dijk, switching the ball and carrying it into midfield? There is nothing that Ricardo Carvalho could not do as a footballer. <laughs> he, was, he was just a flawless centre-half. Found it all so easy. And John Terry's a Premier League's best I ever defender. I think John Terry is probably in agreement we can all is come there, to, right? Is there not an agreement here that you're obviously saying van Dijk's nailed on, you're saying John Terry's nailed on. Are you both happy to go with John Terry and Virgil? Van Dijk, then? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. I think, let's not forget, A, what, what channel we're on, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Can we remember Morning, Jamie. Our Morning, Jamie. 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 Morning, J
right, that. Yeah, exactly. I'm very <laughs> bad. Look, good defenders, really good defenders, but. But honestly, like these Virgil, are Virgil van Dijk would have played in centre mid in the mid in the mid noughties. He's, he's that much. He's that much. Virgil van Dijk wouldn't football. have got in the Chelsea team. Virgil van Dijk would not have got in the Chelsea team that won the league back to back. He would not have got in the team. I mean, he would have been on the bench. It's going to come down to the I think it's Terry and Van Dijk. He would have been on the bench. I think it's Terry and Van Dijk. Yeah. 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 Your case for Terry, your case for Van Dijk. Both top players, John Terry and Virgil van Dijk. Unfortunately, Carvalho is missing out, Rory, as much as you've tried. Got to move on to the left back position. Um, Sorry, Cara. <laughs> Ashley Cole and Robertson, you've got. Mm. So it's it's a conversation of one of the best fullbacks in the Premier League at the moment, or the best ever fullback to have ever played the game. We don't compare Ashley Cole yeah, to yeah, Andy. Yeah, yeah. We don't compare Ashley Cole to, to Andy Robertson. We compare Ashley Cole to Maldini. Like you comparing him to the very best who have ever done it. You don't compare him to one of the best that is doing it at the moment. I do th- what I will say is I do think there was a time when Ashley Cole was considered as the best left back or one of the best left backs. But would you not the say there's definitely that Andy Robertson? Cole, yeah. I, I was just about to say obviously Andy Robertson at the minute is, is a phenomenal player. Yeah, agreed. He is he is one of the best. In definitely his a phenomenal player. The best player to have ever played in his position in the world ever in the history of the game. <laughs> This is very easy, chat. Oh, well, hang on. Can I, can I, can I can we just... <laughs> the best player to ever play in his position in the history of the world. I can say this too. Yeah, it's but it's not true. true. It's actually true about Ashley it's Cole. A... Ashley Cole is a genuinely world-class player. From that era, he's... Who, who the... think, in terms of the best left-backs in Premier League history, you probably would say Ashley Cole, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I think what? by the time Andy Robertson's finished, he could be pretty close. Correct, but I would say Andy Robertson, not I not would Premier say... League history. This uh, isn't a Premier League thing. Ashley Cole is the best oh, no. fullback to have ever played the game. The best... F- Okay. He's best the best fullback. fullback to have ever played the game. Better than Danny Alves. You're having, if you're, to, if you're talking, if you're talking about Ashley slot. Cole, you don't compare him to to Andy Robertson. You compare him to Maldini, Lam, Alves. That that is the conversation that this man is in, and he is. I think, he, I is think, I think, he is the jewel in the crown of the left backs who have ever done it. I think he was a very. I think he was a very good left back. I think I do. I, I absolutely agree. So you're happy, to, but, but but come on, like genuinely. I mean, again. We are, it all gets overlooked because people think Andy Robertson, like, oh, he's, he's all engine, he's all heart. Would it, again, look at his, look at the goals he sets on, look at the assists that he gets. He's only overshadowed by Trent Alexander-Arnold, mm. and Trent Alexander-Arnold is a generational talent, and he's only he delivers basically what slightly better numbers than him year on year. I think we got people don't Premier League career assists, Robert. It's worth pointing out. Only defender with more is Leighton Baines, and obviously let's, still very. Let's make this exactly. But Ashley Cole, obviously, Rory's made a very strong case for. So, I, I think Ashley. Yeah, I, I, I think your argument was very strong for Ashley Cole. You did the right thing. Nostalgia uh, definitely. <laughs> let's go for the midfield three then. So tough, again, let's, tough. Yeah, this is tricky. So let's see your. Is there any you can agree on straight away that yeah. you? Yeah, we can a hundred percent agree that uh, uh, unless uh, was this like a raffle that Dennis Wise won to be in this competition, <laughs> like because. <laughs> Because <laughs> times of this, is there any that you are both agreeing on, regardless of who they, they come from? Yes, I can which, definitely, which, I can definitely agree on one. From? I can definitely. Uh, Stephen Gerrard is one hundred percent in this. Let's get Gerrard in. Stephen Gerrard is one hundred percent. Yeah, we'll phenomenal player. So, Paul, is there any that you're willing to concede from this Chelsea yeah. three straight I, away? If we, uh, okay, yeah, I mean Lampard, Lampard I guess. Yeah. Let's get Lampard in. Lampard, I guess. I, I, that was passive aggressive, um, Paul. That was passive aggressive. As neutral here, I think really, Lampard yeah. and Gerrard have to be in two of the greatest midfielders in Premier League history. Incidentally, Lampard or Gerrard, who do you think pips it in terms of greatest ever Premier League midfielders? Uh, what's the Premier League tally of trophies between the pair? <laughs> what is it? You know, Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I think yeah, you know, well, does anyone sorry. have the stats? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen Gerrard, better footballer. All right, so who are we picking then as the third in so the you've three? Got Dennis Wise and Golo Conte, and you've got. Fabinho and Thiago. Thiago. Thiago Alcantara's had a good six months. Is he in your selection? Yeah. Alcantara! Have you seen him play football? That's a generous that's a generous appointment. Have you me. seen him play football? Absolutely, but six like, months. Honestly, I have seen some of the greatest footballers ever to grace football in the world, and I have never seen a more talented football. Like, it's ridiculous. He, he, like, about the the Champions cha- League goal that, that I, went, I, yeah, cut the ball. Yeah, 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 Thiago, it, it changes Thiago physics. Thiago, I watched play for Bayern against you at the bridge, yeah. and he is, outside of Messi, the best player I've ever seen. I, I completely agree, by the way. I think Thiago Alcantara yeah. is, is a beautiful footballer, and the gates, the, the way that he plays the ball, it's, it's, a, it's a gorgeous sight. He's had a good... 
eight, nine months. Right. He's yeah. not in a... Pre- like, come on. I mean, like, that's Rory, so you're generous. literally holding a picture of Dennis Wise. Like, <laughs> yeah. there's lads who are more talented <laughs> he's my working hero. on, like, the stalls outside Stamford Bridge these days than he would be able but to... But he's my hero. Like, to be the man well, I want to be. Okay, to be the man I want to be, I had to put... I had Listen, to bring I've him to the table. I've left some personal heroes out here to get talent in. And Thiago... And again, Fabinho, I think, is the best DM in world football. I think it's between him and maybe... Maybe Casemiro and, and Rodri and Golo Kante would have been in there, but needs to be in a two-man midfield to do that. I, I, who's, I think, who's, I think who's we can do this midfield because we're not having the Gerard Lampard. One goes, one stays. No, stage. no. no we've lived that. We're not so, doing so, that again. I, look, do you know what I'm prepared to do? So Kante or Fabinho is it between those two? Dennis, Dennis Wise falls on his sword. Wonderful player, okay. my hero. But he's he's out. But N'Golo Kante is obviously in, right? So is it between Kante and Fabinho you need a DM to, to balance yeah. out the two attacking He doesn't even play DM natures. anymore. It's, but N'Golo Kante, in terms of his Premier League contribution, mm. won the league at Leicester, bought the Premier League title with him to Chelsea. Man of the match when Chelsea win a European Cup. Man of the match in the semi-final. PFA and WA Player of the Year when winning the Premier League title as well. Man of the match in a lot of the Champions League games when Chelsea won the Champions League. So, yeah, he has been instrumental in a lot of Chelsea's huge games. He is... Un- and think of the players that I've left out to accommodate him. Mm. Mm. Michael Essien. Michael Essien would probably be in this team over Fabinho. Yeah, and I've, he's not in the team yeah, over Kante. Same, done the same. Jordan Henderson. No, I could have, could have had Jordan Henderson in there again. He, great player but not better than N'Golo Kante. I, I, again, I like N'Golo Kante, but what are we doing with that midfield? We're just having a bunch of lads who all want to do what they, they want to do. It's Man United. Well, are you, are you now Popularity looking at it? contest. Are you, just like, are you now looking at it from a managerial from perspective? Are you, start think, are you thinking about tactics and things like that on this team? Yeah, like, yeah, you were talking well, about defensive well, fullbacks before. We need to answer that. Joe, we've got to move on to a fullback. I'm going to make the call. I'm going down N'Golo Kante just because of the major honours. And Fabinho is catching him rapidly. By the end of this season, he might well have overtaken him, to be honest. Do you know what, Paul? You've, you've already done really well here. You've already done... Well, you've got three. Oh, that is That's so nice three. You say so. No, but the fact... If you think about it, Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea have won five Premier Leagues, Liverpool have won one. That's 20%. So 20% of 11... Sorry to go with Carol Vorderman on you, but 20% of 11 is two. So, and you've already got three, and we've got three to go. So you've done very well. You've All been right, very generous. Let's look at these front three, then. Let's look is at these 20% front of 11 two? I don't think <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Close. <laughs> Close. Two. Yeah, two. Yeah, two. Okay, let, Paul, you, so you got Paul go first. Yeah, let's have a look at the front three. So. My front three? OK, I'll get them in the right order. Now this, I've got to say, this front this six is, is a debate. Tough. So this is the one. Go on, Sadio Mane. To the camera. Luis Suarez. Mohamed Salah. OK, again, like we did with the midfielders, Rory, is there any you're willing to concede straight away? Yes. I mean, surely. Do you know what? I'm not, uh, but the reason isn't what you think it is. The reason I'm not is because I feel like they could all be potentially in. I feel like there's a conversation to explore with all of them. I rate all of them so highly. Like, Luis Suarez has had the best single season I've ever seen anyone have. He was literally Superman that year. Mm. Do you remember? He was banned for the first eight games of the season and still won the Golden Boot. He was unplayable. Yeah. So I think he's the only player to to score more goals in a Premier League season than he did. Salah. Yeah, I, I agree. So I think, and, and Sadio Mane, so, and Sadio Mane is, is exceptional and this deployment as a false nine is mm. breathtakingly good. I think we can debate all three of them, so I can't give one because it could be, all, it could be any of them. This is so tough. This. None of those three that you've got there get into Liverpool's current team. No, none of those three for none you. Th- there's no team in the world that would ever leave Gianfranco Zola out of any team in his pomp. You, you accommodate Zola in any Didn't team. score goals, had no pace, was dead small. <laughs> oh. oh, you could be talking about me there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's that? I feel yeah. like yeah. passive aggressive, yeah, Paul. I know yeah, what you're yeah, doing. No, there. No, I mean, yeah. I've seen the general threat without the lads you've got in the nostalgia. Did you relate to why James yeah. yeah. Dan's all a little bit? Is that like Dennis Wise did as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've got Jody <laughs> Morris down here. <laughs> 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 Some of the statements about these players, Van Dijk, Zola, these yeah, unbelievable yeah. players, by the way. Um, Lad, Zola's in, right? Zola, we can't create any team and not have Jan Franco. Z- Where does Jan he play Franco? in a front three? Wherever he wants. No, I mean, Where, like, wherever he wants. No, but, Joe, OK, well, so, so he put, what's he playing in the In this nine? team, I'd probably play him in the... It's, it's a conversation, Zola or Mane, I think. Really? On the left. In this okay. team, yeah. Over, are you, are you having Hazard Hazard? Hazard? Because Salah's surely going in the team. It's, We're talking about player for, for Chelsea, it'd be kind of be... It would kind of be that. It'd be it'd be two, one. Yeah, but can we make it? Can we just can we just settle this? Let's put let's put Salah yeah, in. Salah let's put Suarez in, and Roy, then I'll happily have S- the debate with you over Mane and Hazard. S- but I will S- not. Salah, Salah is in. Yeah, yeah, Salah's Salah's I think we need surely. to debate more the other two. Salah, Salah, Salah I agree. Yeah. Salah, Salah, Salah Hazard and goes Suarez. Sure. I don't know. If Sa- I don't know Suarez over Drogba. I think I think for that single season, yes, absolutely. But if you think about Drogba's contribution to the Premier League, if you think about what Drogba achieved here. It was, it, yeah, it it was, was more impressive. He didn't score goals. 
th that's a bit of Let's a Let's look at the record of Drogba, 164 goals in 381 appearances for uh, Chelsea. Suarez, 82 goals in 133 appearances for Liverpool. So, it, goals to game for Suarez was incredible. Drogba, though, on the flip side, was big game player, wasn't big he? Game Often player. scored at Wembley. Big game player. Would drag Chelsea of players. Would drag Chelsea to victories that we didn't deserve. He would change defeats to victories. Like, it wasn't about nicking a point when you had uh, Didier Drogba. Mm. You'd nick the three points. He was exceptional. We won back-to-back -back leagues with him. He then came back to Chelsea. He, he guided us to a European Cup, scoring the winning penalty, scoring the equaliser, beating Munich in Munich. I don't think that this is just a game. You've put him on the board. Hang on a minute. You've got to do that. that. Like, what's, going, what's going on here? This guy could not make a mermaid. So let's not forget <laughs> Luis Suarez, the level of ability. He broke something You need to me. have some rules like, here. He can't do that. I you think... played by the rules. You've yeah, just put him on. Score. Well, no, because you went up there and said, what are the best individual season you've ever seen? Yeah, but that's one season. This right. is consistency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're not doing it on one season, are we? Oh, are we not? Because otherwise... No, because otherwise you maybe Kevin Phillips would get into like a Premier League team all-time 11, wouldn't he? Like, he had a really good season. But it's not about that. It's about consistency and what you delivered to the Premier League. And what you could argue Didier that way, really. Drogba is not even the best striker to play for Chelsea in the Premier League era. Diego Costa is better, was a better goal scorer. But not over. I, I don't necessarily agree with that. But also not over a long period of time, and not for what he achieved. Well, you're talking. You're again. You're going back to like nostalgia and tactics. Like Drogba would do, be a lynch man. He would do this and blah blah blah. Wouldn't score goals. We're talking. We're, we're putting players in because they're really good and they did. Dro really Drogba good is things. a better Premier League player value. than Luis. Suarez. Drogba is a better Premier League player than Luis Suarez. He's more of a Premier League legend than Luis Suarez. You're deciding. Paul, is, is there room for? Because he's still got a space left. Is there room for, for Drogba alongside Salah and Suarez? You or do you think has well, a. Ju I, ju I, I just don't think there's any. Argu I think they're inarguable. And any I said Chelsea the only player one. for you that could. I think, Eden, I think Eden Hazard is a conversation, although I think he's one of the, one of the most overrated footballers. Oh. And, and bear in mind, oh. bear in mind, sorry, I'm going to. I'm going to. You saw the goal he scored at Anfield, he, right? He was like. He was messy against Liverpool yeah. every single time. He yeah. had the whole season when he decided not to turn up. And then he's like, oh, oh it, was, it was the World Cup coming up or the Euros. He's like, oh, best turn up. Just wanted to and stop Anfield just rocks up, yeah. decides to fasten his shoelaces for the yeah. first time in the season. I think and then he's Liverpool maybe the most talented player like of the group. To, uh, Eden, Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard, yeah. Individually speaking, I, I, I think, think I've not seen many players as talented as Eden Hazard when he's at full flow. But doesn't have a goal-to-game ratio the same as... Sadio Mane either again he scored he was a good goal scorer and he created more but it's I think he played on 100 more games and scored he scored nine less goals I than think, Mane I think I think that we're getting bogged time. down and ignoring the true brilliance on display here and Gianfranco Zola <laughs> <laughs> Gianfranco Zola like the true brilliance if like you had to put one on out of the two, which one do you pick? Best one out, one out of those two. the best yeah. Italian yeah. forwards. You've got to pick one there, Rory. Which Jolly. one do you put on? <laughs> last position. If, which if one I'm, you put on? Know, it's not last position. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't do that. He just did that. We, we need to give him a green light for the decision. So, Joe, if I'm, picking, if I'm picking Hazard or Zola, I'm picking Hazard. Every okay. day. You've got Zola okay. in your hand. You've got Zola in your hand. If I'm picking Hazard or Zola, I'm picking Zola, obviously. Oh. So, Zola is on. Wow. Wow. Zola. Is that our confirmed call? Are you happy with that? I mean, what has he done? What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Gianfranco, you could have had Sadio Mane. Gianfranco Zola is well, in genius. There we go. Well, Wait, hang on. That is just, our final how can 11. Franco, how can Luis Suarez be on there? He just did that. You didn't even give him a green light. He just <laughs> did it. There is confirmation. <laughs> that is a of disaster. A, of the uh, combined 11. One, two, three, four, five. Six Chelsea. Zola. Five Liverpool. How is there five Zola. Liverpool? So it's, it's, it's five they put one in title. Because you've put Zola instead of Sadio. We've got to go to the Greek. We're out of time. That is that. Is, uh, Rory and Paul's five one in titles. Five one in titles and an equal Let's team. Let's go home what you think. Time for a quick break. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> that is awful. Oh, absolute carnage. <laughs>